is Gina Hughes. We're here with Dan from Verizon Wireless. He's going to show us the BlackBerry Storm. So tell us about this new phone, the BlackBerry Storm. Yeah, well, first off, I love it. It's my main device. Um, if I can live on a device, I'm, I, I'm what they call a power user. I don't even pull my laptop out because I live on my Storm. So it does everything from hooking up to my Flickr account and do my Facebook on it. But it also goes and does all my corporate email and all that other good stuff like my calendar that you know you really need to for work. Okay, so show us what it can do. All right, well, I'll show you a couple of really cool things. First off, you got to make sure that you come in here and you hook up your Storm because one of the great things about the Storm is the touch screen. You can do it. You can change your settings. You can make it more interactive if you're really fast with it, or you can make it slower if you're you know just getting used to your Storm. So one of the first things I do is I go into my Storm and I go down to my options. You can see I've got a bunch of different applications in here, and that's one of the greatest things is all the different applications you can load on your Storm. And I've got four different settings at the bottom. I can change um, how I want my swipe sensitivity. I can change my tap and hover interval. And I've got mine super, super sensitive, which is how I like it. It fully syncs to everything I need for work. I've got all my emails on here, you know, 100 to 200 emails a day, no problem. I can. One of the nice things is now I can view my attachments or I can edit my attachments. So built into the device. Now, can people get their Gmail, or their Yahoo oh, accounts, totally. all that stuff? Okay. Yeah, totally. That's what's great about BlackBerry. Basically, Basically in two clicks I can go in there and I can set up my Yahoo, I can set up my Gmail, all the fun stuff. Because you might have to live at work, but we all know we go out after and you want to, you know, you want to check your Yahoo and see who just Facebooked you, right? Okay, so some of us iPhone users have a problem with the keyboard. Okay. Tell us about the keyboard. How is this compared to the iPhone? Before I actually click it, what button I'm gonna press because it highlights blue. And then when I'm on the one I want, I just press the button in. The cool thing is I don't have to lift up my finger on here. I can just slide it around and if I want to type hey, I slide and click and there it goes and it types in my in my work. And now for the people that don't like to type in sure type, which I personally like, it's a lot faster, you can go into full QWERTY mode and type in QWERTY mode. And a lot of people, that's a little bit more comfortable, so they, they prefer to type that way. Yeah. yeah. And you can see the difference also when you turn it, you can see the letters individually. And okay. Yeah, so if you're used to BlackBerry's prior devices like the Pearl, and you might be into sure type, um, but if you're used to, you know, maybe like your uh, curve, you might be into the full QWERTY keypad. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I like that one better. You're, you're a QWERTY girl? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. All right. Now tell us about the camera. Can it do video? Yeah, the camera is awesome. So it's a 3.2 megapixel camera, which in the camera world for cell phones might not necessarily, you know, you can have a 3.2 megapixel camera from some manufacturers, but if the sensor's not great, you're not going to take that great of pictures. That's where Blackberry's really come through, is not only is it a 3.2 megapixel, but the sensor that it uses is a great sensor. Great for night shots. It's got image stabilization. It's got one of the best flashes that I've ever used on a, on a, on a camera phone. Um, it does full video. You can take your pictures full screen, full frame, whatever you want. It's a, it's a camera in your pocket. And with my Flickr app, so big Flickr fan here. You can upload them. I upload them right to my Flickr, yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Or Facebook so, app, upload them to your Facebook. I've got my Facebook app loaded in here as well. I like the Facebook. Yeah. You don't miss Wi-Fi when you're on this device. The 3G internet is smoking fast. And I, I don't even think, when I want internet, I've got the high speed internet I've ever wanted right in my pocket all the time. It doesn't even cross my mind that I gotta go fire up a laptop. I'm telling you, it replaces my, my work laptop all day long. So I know there was another, uh, a second update or, or an update yeah. recently. What did that change? So it, it was called MR1 and uh, it was released um, about a month or so ago. Um, it, it made a lot of things a little bit smoother, it helped with the speed of the device. And uh, it, it made it pretty cool, right? So MR1 fixed a lot of little stuff, you know. For BlackBerry, this is a, their first touchscreen device, and uh, it made the interface a lot more user friendly. From somebody that wants something really quick and responsive, um, we've actually already had a couple of software updates, and we're looking forward to a lot more in the future to make sure everybody loves their Storm. Okay, now someone that has a BlackBerry and that's afraid to move to a touchscreen, what would yeah. you say to them? I would say, don't worry. If I can live on a black, so I've used a BlackBerry probably different BlackBerrys from my employer. For probably, I've had the old school ones, I don't know, four or five years. And if, you know, 100 emails a day, if you can survive without actually having a keyboard, you're in good shape. So I, I don't miss it at all. I'm not going back, if that's the question. All right, well, thanks so much, Dan. This is Gina Hughes from Techie Diva. If you guys want more information about the BlackBerry Swarm, go check out their website at... You guys you can get all your information there. Great, thanks. Yeah, no problem.